Greetings everyone. Today I am going to explain how Nevilate might become a new meta character. If you don't know who Nevilate is, Nevilate is an upcoming character in Fontaine who will become a 5 star male hydro catalyst character. If you haven't met him, Nevilate was shown in the Overture trial. Nevilate, uh, it's Nevilate I guess made his first appearance, as I said before, in the Overture trailer. Not trial. And and what I was trying to say is, Nebula is going to be a 5 star male Hydro Catalyst character. And why I am saying he is going to be a new meta character? Because Genshin Impact introduced a new feature to us, which is Numa and Osea. In uh, this feature, there's the leakers are saying this feature is going to be added for Spiral Abyss. I actually thought that this feature was going to be added for the swimming combat, the underwater swimming combat. But no, looks like this is going to be in Spiral Abyss, which is going to be a new pain for us because the Spiral Abyss is already hard. But why Nebula is going to be a meta? Because he has both the Osea and Neoma ability. Linne, the 5 star male pyro bow character, is going to have the Neuma and his sister Linnete is going to have Osea. Oh, I don't have resin. Why did I just <laughs> kill that boss? <laughs> About Neuvilate's kit, his elemental skill scales up ASP, while his normal attack scales up attack. But Neuvilate's on field buff adds extra damage to his normal attacks based on ASP. That means he can play both on-field and off-field and building him on ASP is a better option than building him on attack. In other words, Nevilate might become a meta character, a strong DPS character, unlike Aimiko who is basically very very sub DPS like and cannot be a main DPS, no matter what. By the way, his elemental burst adds bonus damage to the on-field character's normal attacks, which means he can be a very supportive character as well, which means meta. Characters who can both support and deal damage are always taken into the meta section. Now, by any chance, if you don't know what meta is, Meta's full form is most effective tactics available in Genshin Impact. In other words, I am trying to say Nevilate might become one of the best characters in Genshin Impact. Now, there is going to be some characters who will meet a bad fate and for some reason I am feeling like it's Ryo Tesla, which will be one of them who might who might have a bad bet but it depends if Navia is the one joining the standard banner no if Ryo Tesla is the one joining the standard banner yes because in Genshin Impact every character that joins standard banner or supposed to join the standard banner is a bad character because you're gonna get it from losing 50-50 and they're not gonna give a good character after you lose a 50-50 so they are not adding any strong characters to the standard banner section. In other words, Nevilate is not definitely one of them who is going to join the standard banner because he is the only character who have both Neuma and OC ability which is very useful and he can play both on field and off field. If he is on off field, he enhances the normal attacks of the on field character which is awesome and if he is on the field he can deal good amount of damage by his elemental skill and his normal attack if you build him on ASP. I guess ASP is the best status for Nebula them like many hydro characters. That's all I had to say in this video. Thank you guys for watching. No matter who you are saving for, I wish you best of luck on your posts.